where we're going to put the cable in to take it into the e base from the wind generator. Barbara stay for it. Um, we're putting the, the H plate in and what this is, this is the base of the wind turbine. And what we'll then do is the poles here, the large length of poles, we'll wreck them up. We'll then bring guy ropes down to steady everything off. Once we know we're square and we're vertical, we'll then attach the wind turbine and bring that up. What we're doing, we've pointed the, the wind turbine, the H plate on the bottom, in a certain direction. The reason we've done that is because the wind is coming from straight behind me. Now there's no obstacles there either, which means we get a perfect wind flow to hit the turbines, which means they'll work much, much better. And the other turbine I'm going to sight sort of further along so that the two don't interrupt each other. Job done. Whew. Okay, we've got the turbine down here. It's fully made now. The guys outside, they've made all the masts. So what we're going to do, take the turbine outside, put it on the mast, put it up, and we'll have some power. We've had a bit of trouble with the blades here. We have to make sure that they're exactly the same distance apart. Then when they spin the rotor around, it, it, it doesn't settle down at 6 o'clock. So we've taken a bit of time to get that right. But what that means is that we get much better power, much better flow out of the turbines when we put them up. So another half an hour, and we should have some power. Connect it inside and then we've got ourselves some free electric.